Hello, everybody. It is Miss Dana here again, recording our story time for the week. I really, really like this one. It's a sensory story time. It's all about your five senses. I'm holding up. I'm supposed to be five. So your five senses. You experience the world with your five senses every day, and you don't even know it. And sometimes we take that for granted. So this is a fun way to remind yourself like how lucky we are that we can experience the world in this way. And I'll show you through the story. This is perfect for this time of year because spring has definitely sprung around here on the North Fork. It's been such a beautiful week. And it's, this one is called Hooray for Hoppy. Hoppy is a bunny. And in this book, he experiences spring with all of his five senses. And just, we can do that too. Just the same way that you'll see how he does in the story. The story is by Tim Hopgood, which is really funny. I don't know whether that's really the author's real name or whether he just did a pen name. Sometimes authors make up fun names for themselves to go along with their story. So Tim Hopgood wrote a story called Hooray for Hoppy. Here he is. This was us not too long ago. There was snow on the ground. Hoppy woke up bright and early. He wiggled his nose and sniffed the air. Perhaps today is the day, he thought. But as he hopped to the top of his hole, he saw that the world was still covered in snow. No, not today. Too cold, he said, and he hopped back to bed. I don't really see bunnies too much in the winter time. I like it warm. There he is again. The next morning, when Hoppy hopped to the top of his hole, his nose felt cold and the grass felt crunchy. Oh, not yet, he said, too icy, and he hopped back to bed. You ever feel the grass like that when there's been a frost? It feels like a little crunchy on your feet with your shoes and your boots. Again, it looks good this time. A few days later, Hoppy woke up much earlier than usual. Perhaps today is the day, he thought. Hoppy twitched his nose the air smelled fresh. Hmm, perhaps today really is the day, the day that spring arrives. He's very cute, he's nice, heart-shaped nose. So Hoppy hopped down the hill to see if it was true. Look at all the signs of spring. The trees have flowers on them. The sun is out. The grass is very green. Even in that tree, what do you see? There's a bird. Have you been noticing that lately when you wake up in the morning? You hear the birds singing a lot more. They love the spring. And that's what this page is all about. Hooray, said Hoppy as he heard the birds singing. It sounds like spring has sprung. He's hearing all of the sounds of spring. Hooray, said Hoppy, as he sniffed the pretty flowers. Oh, it smells like spring has sprung. There's so many great smells in the spring. Fresh dirt. That's another sense, your sense of smell. Hooray, said Hoppy as he watched the lambs in the meadow. Oh, it even looks like spring has sprung. He's using his sense of sight to see things. You see a lot of things in the spring. There's butterflies, 
and flowers. And usually you see lambs and baby birds, lots of baby animals being born. I think we talked about that another week, not too long ago. I think it was last week with the chicks. Hooray, said Hoppy as he nibbled the fresh green grass. Oh, it tastes like spring has sprung. Oh, he's nibbling on the grass. He's using his sense of taste with his mouth. We can taste things too, but not grass usually. Hip, hip, hooray, said Hoppy as his feet touched the warm ground. Oh, it even feels like spring has sprung. Feels good on his feet and the sun is warm on his back. So that's our other sense of touch, touch and feel things. Oh, today really is the day, thought Hoppy. He couldn't wait to see his friends. But when he reached the top of the hill, Nobody was there. Hmm. So he thumped his back feet as hard and as loud as he possibly could. Look closely at that hill. Do you see anything? That's how rabbits call each other. They thump their back feet, feet really hard. Let's see what happens. Let's look again closely at that hill. Do you see anything? to page. Now you do. They were all hiding in long green grass. Isn't that amazing? Look at all those bunnies. Wow. Oh, hooray, hooray, shouted all the rabbits as Hoppy leaped high in the air. Spring had definitely and most wonderfully sprung. I think we all feel the same way, right? Just like the animals, we love when it starts getting warm again. And those are all of the five senses that we just talked about. That's how we discover the world. We use all of it. So the first sense, remember, was hearing with our ears. Do you remember what Hoppy heard? And we hear it now too, the birds singing with our ears. Next is a sense of smell. We experience spring in this way too. What did Hoppy smell? Lots of flowers. There's lots of fragrant flowers in the spring. What about the third sense is sight. We see things. We saw the flowers and the butterflies and the grass and all the new baby animals. That's what Hoppy saw. And what about the taste? Hoppy experienced this fourth sense of taste. Spring he tasted with his mouth, he ate the grass, right? Remember that part of the story? What can we eat that might taste like spring? I love, love, love that we grow things in gardens, right? And usually it needs it to be a little bit warmer to grow things. So I think that's a good taste of spring and summer, actually. We can taste things from our gardens, delicious veggies and fruit from trees. When we pick apples in the fall, we taste fall. It's so funny, you don't think that you can taste different types of weather, but you know what kind of season it is depending upon what you're eating. In June, it's the strawberry festival. So that's when strawberries are grown. So you can taste summer through a strawberry. That's one of my favorite times. I love the strawberry festival. Hopefully we'll have it again this year in some small way and keep everybody safe. But we forgot one more sense. The last one, touch. I really like this sense too, when it comes to feeling spring and summer. Do you remember what Hoppy felt? How did he feel spring? He felt 
the fresh grass on his feet, how it feels. I love walking barefoot and you can really feel the ground. It feels really, really nice soft grass on your feet. And then what did he feel on his back that made him really warm? Sun. Oh, I love that feeling too. I love closing my eyes and putting my face up to the sun. Feels really good. We've been able to feel all of these things very recently. It's been really great. I hope spring weather stays. It might get a little chilly because it's only the end of March and the beginning of April, but it's coming. You know that it's coming. So in your materials bags, they're decorated with flowers because it's spring and we do smell the beautiful flowers that are coming out now. And there's lots of activities. Usually we always have an art activity. So I thought it'd be fun for all of you to do Fruit Loop pipe cleaner bracelets. So in your bag, we gave you some Fruit Loops. It's not everybody might have Fruit Loops in their house. They're not exactly the healthiest snack. I love when you pour milk over them and it turns your milk different colors. Usually it's like a pinky color, but there seems to be a lot of green in this one and yellow. So it might turn your milk green if you decide to put them in cereal, but this is for a bracelet. So we gave you a pipe cleaner also in your bag. And since there are circles, there are little loops, you can thread them on here. And then when you put it around your wrist, you can measure it to make sure that you twist the ends so it fits your wrist after you put your Fruit Loops on. But the reason why it's a sensory activity is because when you take these out of the bag, you can smell the sugar. You can actually smell the sweetness of them because they put a lot of sugar in it. And you can also, what do you do with Fruit Loops? What is a cereal? Something that you can, can taste. So when you put it on your pipe cleaner to make a bracelet, you're smelling, you're using that sense. And you're also, I'm sure it won't last very long. You'll have your bracelet maybe for a day, but then you'll want to taste it too. So you'll probably eat the whole thing and then you could use your pipe cleaner for a different project if you would like for something else, recycle it and use it for something else. But that's the art project for this week, but also the activities are really fun. You can do this anytime at home. I just like to give you suggestions and ideas because your sense of taste, you experience food and you eat food every day. But I challenge you to try something new. Try to taste something that has a different kind of taste that you might not have experienced before. How many people have eaten a pickle? I love pickles. Pickles are one of my favorites. I even put pickles on my sandwiches sometimes because I love the sour taste. Not a lot of people like sour tastes, but I do like it myself. This is a book that I have here. It's called, I Hear a Pickle. And you wouldn't think that you could really hear a pickle to use that sense, your sense of hearing with a pickle, but there's so much about, I'm reading just the last page, about a pickle. You don't realize that you use all of your senses. I taste the pickle and it's sour. You can smell the pickle because it's in all of those spices in the jar. It's very spicy. I see the pickle. What color is it? Just like this end page over here, it's green. I touch the pickle and boy, is it slippery because it's kept in all of those spicy, that spicy water in the jar, right? So you have to be careful when you hold it. And then I hear the pickle. When you bite into it, it makes a crunch. <laughs> I like that.
all of the senses were used. You heard the crunch, you smelled the spices, you saw what the pickle looked like, it was green. You could touch it and feel that it's wet and slippery right out of the jar. And when you taste it, you taste something sour. There's so many great things. We all have our favorite things to taste. What about something sweet? We talked about the Fruit Loops. They're very sweet. I think that's everybody's favorite thing to eat, even though a lot of sweet things might not be good for you, but there are some healthy sweet choices too. Like you can bite into an orange and that tastes sweet. There's very natural things, grapes. They can taste pretty sweet depending upon when you get them in the store, but I have something really sweet here. What do I have? I brought these from home. Chocolate chips. They're very sweet and delicious to taste. Sense of taste is a really fun sense that we have. And what is something that is salty. When you think of salty things, when you go to the movie theater, you could buy popcorn. That's very salty. What else is salty? What do you have in your house that's salty? Potato chips. I have pretzels. Pretzel crisps. They're very salty. You could taste the salt on them. Some are lightly salted. Just to have too much of a good thing might not be good for you. So make sure you always have tiny portions that make sense for you so you don't feel sick. But yeah, pretzels and chocolate together. Sometimes you can combine the different tastes. You can do sweet and salty together. I love chocolate covered pretzels. So that's sweet and salty together. So we talked about the two different tastes that most people like, the salty and the sweet. What about the pickle? The pickle was sour. What else do you think could be sour? Do you ever have salt and vinegar chips? The vinegar has a little bit of a sour taste. What else do you think you could try in your house that's sour? Maybe you can squeeze a lime and taste what that juice tastes like. It's a little sour. You should challenge yourself, even though it doesn't might, it might not sound good to you. Your tongue might really like it. That's the really fun part about this whole taste test. Your tongue tastes all different parts of it taste all of these different things. Like maybe the sour is on the tip of your tongue or the sweet is at the back, salty is on the side. We didn't talk about spicy or bitter. Do you ever have mustard on your sandwich? This could be very spicy or it could be a little bitter. You should challenge yourself. There's so many things at home. I'm sure mom and dad, grandma and grandpa and everybody will have different ideas. In your bag, I gave you different ideas for all of those different kinds of things that you can taste and taste with the, all the different parts of your tongue. In the picture that I found, it was really fun because the mom put all of the different things in a muffin tin. All the different kinds of things that you can taste with the different parts of your tongue and then try to challenge yourself and taste something that you've never tasted before. I think it would be very, very fun. And the last activity that I have for you is a fruit and veggie touch and guess game. So if you go out into your garden or go to the grocery store after you shop for fruit, because everybody should be eating lots of fruit, not only the sweet and salty things that I just showed you. You can have a bag from home or another container that you cannot see through. And then you have to use your sense of touch only. 
not allowed to peek using your sense of sight, this is challenging yourself to try to guess what that fruit or vegetable is just by touching it. I put one in here and it feels very smooth, maybe a little bit bumpy, but mostly smooth and very round. You know, maybe your parents or whoever is playing this game with you can give you even more hints. But since you're not here to help me feel it, it's hard for me to have you guess, but I will tell you that it is small. It fits in my hand. It feels smooth and round. And I know because I put it in the bag, it's orange. What do you think it could be? Smooth and round and orange kind of fruit. The color kind of gave it away, but it's an orange, a little nectarine. So when you feel it with your hand, it feels cool. It's very interesting to just use one of your senses instead of just your eyes or your ears to just feel what it feels like before you eat it. I'll probably eat this for lunch. And then you could put broccoli in there. Can you imagine how broccoli feels in this veggie touch and guess game or different kinds of fruit? Can you imagine what a banana feels like? How it's long, but, it, but smooth. I'm sure you are gonna be very, very good at this guessing game. Maybe you should challenge your brother or your sister and see, play this game together and see who gets the most guesses correctly just by touching. Don't peek. <laughs> so that is our story time for today. Next week, I think I'm on this healthy kick because I think next week we're going to be talking about fruits and veggies again because I want to eat healthy now that we're going to be wearing spring clothes and less jackets. It's good to eat healthy. So we're going to talk about that next week. And I hope that all of you have a wonderful Wonderful time, because I think, um, yeah, I'll be recording this before Easter, but um, hopefully everybody is enjoying this beautiful weather, and I will definitely see you in the library soon. So have a good week, and take good care. Bye. <laughs>